Hello friends, I'm Maina from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our video tutorial series on STAT. So friends, in the previous video, we had completed the dead load and live load assigning part of our building model G plus one. So in this video, we'll move forward to the seismic load assigning part. So let's get started. So first of all, I had to define my seismic load. So I'll go to the definitions and then I'll click on seismic definitions, add, and then I'll select IS 1892-2002-2005 for the earthquake code of India. And then I'll click on generate. After clicking on generate, I'll select, I can go zone wise or city wise. I'll go zone wise in this case. Let's select zone three. And for response reduction, I'll select OMRF that is ordinary RC moment resisting frame. Importance I'll select all general buildings and rock type I'll select medium soil. Structure type is reinforced concrete frame building which is okay. Damping ratio is 5% this is also okay. And then I'll just click on generate and then I'll click on add. I'll not use this now I'll just click on close. So as you can see that my seismic definition has been done. So the remaining part will do in the stat editor. So before going to the stat editor, I'll just save my model and then I'll go to the stat editor. In the stat editor, I can see that my seismic loads, dead load and my live load has been defined. First of all, I'll just change this. This will be 0.055%. Okay, that's okay. And then I'll copy all the loading parts of the dead load and just click, click Ctrl plus C and then click on here and then press Ctrl plus V because all the values of the weights for seismic load will be the same as dead load. But in case of seismic load, there will be some changes like there will be no direction and sign. So I'll just remove the signs, negative signs and directions. So I've removed the sign and direction of my self weight and then member load. I'll change it to member weight and then I'll just remove this sign and GY remove this also and then in case of floor load I'll do it floor weight WIGST and then here my load is minus 2.5 I'll remove the negative sign here and I'll also remove the Y direction from here so after removing it I'll go I'll move forward and make it wait this is my another member weight I'll just remove the sign and direction again this also I'll change to weight and then I'll remove the sign and the direction so I'm done so we have changed the sign and the directions of my loading under my seismic load and now IS1893 that is our seismic code says that for live load greater than 3 the value of seismic load will be 50% and for live load of 3 or less than 3 the value of seismic load to be taken is 25%. So we have 2 as live load which is less than 3 and 25% of 2 is 0.5. So we will add 0.5 to all the flow loads which we have taken under the seismic portion so this is my uh, seismic member weights floor weight so i'll just change it to 2.5 plus 0.5 which is 3 so i'll change the all the 2.5 to 3 here so i've changed all my floor weights for seismic load and then i'll just save it control s and then i'll just close it so I can see here that my seismic definitions self weight, member weight, floor weight, member weight and floor weight. So all the loads have been added. Now I'll simply go to my SLX in my load cache details and then I'll click on add and then I'll go to seismic loads and in the X direction at a factor of one, I'll add it and then I'll close it. Similarly in the SLZ direction also, I'll create Z direction factor one add. So after I've done that, I'll simply go to my file and then I'll save the model. 
after saving my model i'll go to analyze run analysis save the model so i can see that there are no errors in the model there is one warning which has come because we have not inserted the slab we usually do not design the slab instead so i'll just click on done so friends that's all for today in the next video we'll move forward and complete the designing of our building so bye bye